G'day guys and girls, welcome back to another video. In this one, we're gonna talk about sump baffles, what they are and why you might need one. So what is a sump baffle? They come in all different shapes and sizes. They're specific to each car's different sump. The idea is it keeps oil around the oil pickup. Basically, especially if you're on track, if you're on like a long sweeping bend, all the oil can slosh to one side of your sump um, and then there's no oil around the pickup. So when the, the pump's trying to suck oil up and distribute it through the engine, there's nothing there and that's when you can do some bearing damage and and all sorts of other damage that you don't want. Taking a look at the Puma Speed R Sport one, obviously as you can see I've bought a blue one. They come in a few different colors. I did use Sparkplug Steve's code, so in their search bar if you put in Team SPS, there is um, a deal with these where you get a free sump plug. So that's a magnetic sump plug and it's a really strong magnet. So ideally they won't be, but any metal um, filings that might be coming through your oil, um, that'll pick it up pretty good. As you can see the design, first thing you'll see is the R Sport. It is a big cross brace just to help prevent any flex. On each side, there are one-way rubber gates. So those little flaps, they'll let oil into the area around the oil pickup, but they're designed to not let any oil out. Um, the next picture will show you a bit more of that. You can see a bit better in this one. It's only going to fit one way because the way that your oil pickup is, it, it's only going to fit one way. You can see a bit better there, one of the holes for the rubber flaps and that cross brace again. Now the fitting hardware, you get two long bolts, a couple of washers and two spacer plates also, just so that the sump baffle sits down in the sump at the right height. And just under where it says fitting hardware, you can actually see the sump plug there. I picked silver, you can pick different colors, but I figured by the time you do a few oil changes, the, an the anodized look is gonna start to wear and it's probably silver underneath anyway. Again, you can see the design. So this is specific for the Mark 7 or Mark 7.5 Fiesta ST. And there's one of those one-way rubber flaps. This next picture is looking under the car. Obviously the sump pan has been removed and this is looking from say the driver's side wheel on the right hand side on a right hand drive car over towards the transmission on the passenger side. Now you can see the thick oil pickup line and the actual pickup and filter. So that's why these are only designed to fit one way. You can also see just under where it says line there's a bolt missing in the brace for the oil pickup you remove that bolt and there's one on the other side also that you will remove and that's where your sump baffle bolts will refit. Another picture here shows the oil pickup. This is all fitted up now. You can see the orientation of the bolts, the washers and the spacers. And obviously now it makes sense why this will only fit on one way because of the, the cutout in the side of it at the top. Um, you can also see a really good example there of the rubber flaps that's basically it. It's quite a simple thing, but it does a really important job because the last thing that you want to do is be coming around a corner on track, put your foot down, and your engine's going to need all that extra oil as the revs climb, and if there's no oil under the pickup, you're just going to starve the engine of oil and you're going to do a bearing or you're going to do some damage somewhere. So it's such a simple thing to add. You don't have to maintain it once it's in, it's in, but it's so much cheaper to buy this and have that fitted than it is going to be to rebuild your engine further down the track. Now, if you were just dailying your car, then I wouldn't worry about it. If you were just enjoying it on the street, um, you doing like country lane passes and things like that, likely not a big issue. If you're going to start tracking your car and especially on tracks that do have those really long sweeping bends or, you know, braking points like turn two at Sydney Motorsport Park where you're on the brakes hard for quite a while from say 170 kilometers an hour down to 70 or 60 kilometers an hour 
You're going to want something to keep the oil in place so the engine's always got a feed of oil. Really important for that sort of stuff. Thanks for watching as always guys. It was just a quick one today. I'll put a link down below to the R Sport sump baffle. Um, remember you can put in Team SPS if you want the magnetic sump plug with it as well. Um, don't forget DC3D Designs. Use code 4010 for a cheeky little discount there as well. Cheers, guys.